I don't know whether I use this video. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to my vlog and I'm Barbara as you know and today is Saturday and it's weekend and I'm so happy that it's weekend today I'm going to meet Ada Nick my co-stars of this vlog and then we're going to another ruin castle ruin thing to just hang out outside because the weather is more or less fine and have a nice just a nice Saturday I hope we eat delicious Mexican food and drink amazing coffee. That's my plan for the day. So we are on the way <laughs> to Udasoa Castle and Nick is complaining that he doesn't want to walk. Yaba. 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 So I think we can find a compromise. <laughs> okay, we have Mexican food so I have enough to like burn. I didn't. I didn't eat enough. So off the monorail and up to the castle range. It's still sunny, but it's kind of hot now and finally warm. Yay. Nick is morning already. It took five Good stingers and Nick is morning. What? Well, nothing. <laughs> it's nice to be outside for a change. Yes, that's true. Well, the Hexel Ridge. American military. Yeah. Because of the Hoxha Ridge, which is in history the... lesson with Nick. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> so when the the American army was uh, attacking on land, the um, the Japanese army, mm -hmm. there's a big battle in this ridge over here. There's this big movie that they made recently. Anyway, so they have like... to scale up the bridge, and the Japanese were here mm -hmm. on top. And they were shooting them down, so it was really hard for them. So what they did was, they did a bombardment to be able to climb over the ridge and keep going forward and push the military back, mm -hmm. the Japanese military back in further south. So there's like a big battle here. So there's always many American military people because they're interesting in um, military history. And this was a big battle in the Pacific. Like uh, the most famous one, I think, right? Probably like, one of the first. Because the Pacific, of the movie Hacksaw Ridge. Hacksaw Ridge, which is the name of. <laughs> The, the rich, <laughs> or how the Americans call it, yeah. because obviously in the Japanese it's not called Hokso yeah. Rich. <laughs> but it's because like Hokso, they were like literally, because since they were on top, Japanese could shoot down everyone mm. that was coming from the rich. Mm -hmm. So what I don't, what I never got is why they only attacked through this uh, on that rich, like why they didn't get around. Or something. But I guess it wasn't so there's the Hokso Rich. You can see it over there. The here like these are pictures out of the movie yeah. uh, 2016 is five years old it's not that recent <laughs> and this soldier was very famous because he didn't shoot a single bullet always appro appropriately dressed for hikes and adventures <laughs> not <laughs> we all of us <laughs> the movie when you've seen the movie Hexa Ridge it's it looks way higher than it actually is it's like, what did you guess? 10 meters? Maybe? Discovering the special sites and the Japanese part of the show. All the time when I see swastika, it's swastika culture, right? Yes. Oh, I'm scared. I guess. I don't know what's in Japanese. Suwastika is the Gyaku one. 
So the bad one is the swastika, <laughs> like the. Which one? Like the points, the the German ones go to the right, right? The the it goes yes. one, two, three. Yes. One, two, three. Right? He did it. He really did it. Yeah, yes. Don't do that. And this this one is a sawastika. <laughs> Titles and have everyone come to live in Shudi so he could keep them under control. Mm. So, to the note, <laughs> there's one entrance, right? To the tunnel exit. Can you see the moon? <laughs> Nick is happy! <laughs> I've never seen one in real life. Really? Yeah, there are patches. But they are here all the time. I've never seen. Look at this picture. And yeah, changed a little bit. Where are we going? Our tombs? To the tombs. Ah, okay. Thank you. This one's really well restored, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, the Tamadun is the tomb of the royal king of Shu, the royal king of Duty. Yeah, sometimes Nick drops his word like words like I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> because it, it, it doesn't like sound Japanese. So it's like... Because it's Uchino Kuchi. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the insight into Okinawan history and see you in the next one. Bye!